Good evening, Possibility War fans. It is the 4th of September, 2022. Uh, this is, uh, I think, our 13th game session uh, with the uh, Relics of Power Trilogy Part 1, the Destiny map. And uh, we're going to continue on tonight with, uh, with Act 2, Conowa Calling. And it is going to be scene to the hack. And yes, it sounds like exactly what it's supposed to be. Uh, all right, so uh, you know what? I'm going to kind of start in the middle this time. I usually start at the top or the bottom, but I'm going to start with you, Peaches. What do you remember from last week? <laughs> oh man, let's see. Uh, <laughs> let's see what I remember. Um, I know we we finished the act. Uh, yeah. We we we, we uh, finished the uh, we held the fire drill. That's what we did, and uh, everybody scattered and hopefully got achieved their objectives, and uh, and we booked it out of there. Mm -hmm. um, it, is it okay if I, if, if I were a paranoid cor corporation and I just had an unannounced fire drill, I would check with the government for the results of said fire drill. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I, I am actually going to file these. Yeah, yeah. Right um, and proper. Well, so, um... So that, yeah, so that, uh, when, uh, it, it, when they check, not if, uh, all the records are there. All proper. Okay, then let me, uh, before I get to what everybody else remembers, um, let me kind of go over this real quick. Um, you guys are probably going to want to talk about whether or not you're going to get a hotel room um, or a few um, and what your plans are, what your next step plans are with all of that stuff. And I want you to consider that Nightbird is still with you. I will I will be playing Nightbird uh, um, at least tonight. Uh, and I, I need you guys to consider what it is you're going to do in a few minutes and we'll figure out how to file those, how, what the best way to file those would be. But let's just say that uh, um, Sir Fisk asked you to check in with him when uh you know when you were done with your your uh reconnaissance at the Conowa building um and and we can kind of play that call a little bit later okay yeah well i i know for sure that i i feel that it's a hard point of some kind for a different realm mm -hmm. it may very well be but you may be surprised once you start looking at the button um, which Rios presently has because uh, I, if I'm, no, wait a minute, Rios, were you running um, uh, uh, distraction no, for uh, Nightbird or was Nightbird running distraction for you? Uh, I can't quite remember. I'm not sure if we ever actually specified who was the distraction and who actually grabbed the thing. Well, then here's what we're going to say. Ross is not here. So you have you have the quote unquote button, but you get a strange feeling holding that button in your hand, almost like there's a buzzer there or worms crawling around in the palm of your hand when you're holding it. But it you look at it and it's not worms. It it just feels that way. Okay. I don't know if you've ever held worms in your hand and let them kind of crawl around. It's kind of a really icky, nasty feeling. But um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to, I'm going to continue around. Actually, it's your turn anyway, Rios, the way that I'm doing this. So, okay. So, what do you remember from last week? I mean, we did the fire drill. I was the one who took the majority of the notes. I did try to keep it as uh, organized as possible. And with your so role last week, you did. So, yeah. yeah. And then we uh, uh, we got the thing and got out. Okay. All right. Uh, Chris, 
Anything to add to that? Uh, I mean, you know, again, we did the fire drill, and uh, when we were all split up, I uh, went and got a key. Well, I think maybe before we split up. Mm -hmm. e either way, I got the security room key card. You know, those guys in like that fire door security room. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, you've got that key card, and it's it's a pretty important key card. Um, you can you can tell that it's going to be important. Now the question is, is it restricted to this level, or does it affect the entire building? You'll have to find out. Um, yep. Yep. And then Artorius, what do you remember? I mean, anything to add? I just mean, just about. Well, just about everything was kind of covered. The only thing that my character kind of saw is that there was almost like a secret basement, possibly down at the bottom of the building, that not even the security guard that we asked knows about. Could be. Might, Might be something Might to be check out. Visit. Secret, secret basement. <laughs> 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 I love a good mystery. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it might definitely be something to to kind of check out. Um, let's see. Okay, then I'm going to kind of get things uh, started by l returning to the question about how to file the paperwork and what plans you guys have for, for any further uh, entry into the building. So you guys go ahead and kind of make a plan based off of what you remember. You you've just finished the fire drill. You are you have been carted away from um, uh, unless you guys were planning to stay. You've been carted away from the Cherry Blossom Research Park, um, and now you guys have to decide if you're going to get uh, a hotel room. Uh, there is no Delphi Council presence in this particular town. It's just too small, um, uh, and it's two and a half hours drive to get back to. Uh, uh huh. The other place that you were in, I, th I think it was Memphis. Okay, yeah, it was Memphis. Um. Anyway, the Cherry Blossom Research Park. It, 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 you know, it's a good place, but there's really, unless you guys get your own hotel room, there's no, really no place to go. Um. And do you? What are your plans? What would you like to do? Now I'm going to shut up. Well, I don't want to do anything traceable or immediately traceable, mm. guys. So, do we have cash amongst us? If if we do a hotel, we pay in cash. Yeah. Uh, uh yeah. Um, there is one amongst your group that has a lot of cash. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> but is it valid in this cosm? Um, the way the way Torg works is that the money is just kind of considered to be, you know, universal. Universal. Ah, so, okay, good, good, good. So, so it would be good. Yeah. So exchanging your money for other money through the Delphi Council or whatever is is good. They can because they can recycle that to other groups that are working in uh, Aurorsh. So okay, yeah. So, um, are you okay with uh, paying for a hotel room in cash? Okay, yeah. O okay. I'm not, I'm not even going to have you reduce it. If you wanted to reduce it, let's say it's going to be like $300 because there's there's uh, five of you, six of you total, um, and I, I know that you're not going to have Andon sleep in, in your room, uh, so he'd probably sleep with the fellas, you know, uh, a guy's anyway, room and a girl's room. A guy's room and a girl's room. So two hundred dollars, okay, and and that yeah. would probably work uh, just fine. Uh, you can always have Dang. a. Dang. Hmm? The hotel rooms around here are way cheaper than they were at the airport. Um. Yeah. Yeah. That's because you're you're in Tennessee. You're in a smaller town that does not necessarily get a whole lot of traffic. Although it is a college town, um. So, uh, it's you know it's a little bit more. Uh, but, uh, mm -hmm. it's not too bad. I, when I hear a hundred dollars for a hotel room, even today, I'm like, Oh my God, are you trying to drain me of my money? You know, uh, oh, I'm a, oh, but I'm oh, kind of a oh, cheapo. Let me tell you, mm -hmm. oh, let me tell you when I got stuck in Canada for the night, they mm -hmm. charged me $400 for one night at the airport hotel. 
That's insane. That's highway robbery. Right? Oh my Even gosh. In Especially in Canada. I mean, of course they've they've been going through a lot of different political stuff lately, so their prices are up and everything like that. So, um, but well, thanks to uh, but yeah, Putin's like war and Ukraine fuel and everything is up. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's true. I and I I, I anyway. Um, so the yeah, hotel rooms uh, in this smaller town, you know. Uh, to get to the Cherry Blossom Research Park, it, it, you know, Kanawa is trying to more or less stay out of the way, if you will. Um, so, uh, anyway, smaller town, college town, though, uh, uh, University of, um, of Tennessee, okay? Um, so, you get into a hotel room, do you all try and, and plan? I mean, it's, it's, it's moving on early evening by now. Yeah, and how long have we been up though? Um, oh, uh let's see. You guys probably actually to tell you the truth, you probably got into town last night. Um, and then started uh not early in the morning, but about mid morning with the fire drills and stuff like that. And, uh, and so it's, the sun is still up. It's, it's still kind of high in the sky, but it's, it's starting to get, uh, into the late after out late afternoon, early evening. Right. So we probably are all desperate for some shut eye. Food Could be. Shut -eye. Could be. Yeah. Now the question is, I, you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to ask you that question. I need you guys to plan. Talk together and, and go ahead and plan. So what are we going to do next, folks? Uh, I say as I collapse on my bed. Uh, so I'm assuming we have adjoining rooms and we can just open the door at first. Well, and kinda... You guys have rooms nearby to one another. Um, you know, like uh, maybe the guy's room is across the, yeah, across the way. Uh, it could be next door. Sure. I'll say, yeah, you, you can have adjoining rooms. Why not? All right. So, uh, yeah, we can just uh, close and lock up everything and then uh, open the, two, the, the connecting door between our rooms and uh, kind of keep it to a low roar as we kind of mm. well. crash. If we were to investigate further, the easiest time to sneak around unseen would be at night, but that would also be the easiest time for anyone that might be looking for intruders would have be able to sneak, sneak around as well. You're not wrong. Uh, this is true. Um, I, uh, I, I don't know what Nightbird's agenda was. Um, he had one. Yeah, uh, his agenda was to get a hold of Chess um, and to see if Chess might be able to help uh, uh, with breaking in to, uh, you know, the Conowa systems, okay? Uh, and he also wanted to see, uh, or I'm sorry, she also wanted to see about, um, about that button, okay? So, All you right, know. So, we ask her to get started contacting Chess and see if he can get us in for any uh, night maneuvers. Say, about uh, at least uh, six to eight hours our time, because we'll need some time to, to sleep. Okay. And, All right. And uh, refresh. Well, um, room service, of course, is, is not terrible. Uh, the part of town that you are in, uh, of course, it's it's like the hotel district. So there's all kinds of restaurants and stuff all over the place, whether you want to go out or just stay in, you know, get some slices or go get some surf and turf, whatever. Um, uh, so that's pretty easy. Uh, and then you guys could come back uh, or, or stay and, and eat and then go to bed. Um, but... Uh, so Nightbird sends, uh, you know, a coded message to, uh, Chess, 
uh, you don't know quite entirely what's in it. Uh, you're assuming that what uh, she was speaking about is is actually what she would do. Huh? No, uh, so my phone was going off. That was my bad. Oh, okay. Bad phone. Bad phone. Um. <laughs> uh, so Nightbird returns and she says, uh, uh. Chess will do what he can, but he's running into blocks from the Godnet. The information that he's trying to get um, is is not very easy to call out um, because he is now on the Bishop's Wanted list, which is not good. Dear. Yeah, that's going to make things a little bit harder. Um, well, we might we might. Mm -hmm. Try consider uh, you know offering him asylum here. Well, that of of course you know you could talk if, to if we could get in touch with the Delphi Council to arrange. Well, you I mean you can talk to Fisk at pretty much any time. Um, yeah. You know, call to update him and say, hey, can we offer you know this guy Chess asylum, and uh, he would. You know, he would have to, to take time to research it, ask the right questions, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, um, we'll get that ball rolling too, then, please. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, consider it done. Um, let's see. So, the outreach stuff that you guys can do, unless you've got something else that you want to bring my way, uh, you kind of get that working in the interim. Um, but then I'm talking about other plans. What else would you like to do? Do you have any questions that might help determine what you can do? Mm. <laughs> I wish we had an idea card. Anybody? Uh... I think I still have my idea card. Uh-oh. No, I thought you used it last uh, week. Nope. Yeah, you used yeah, it last week. I, yeah, I used it. Mm-hmm. Oh, darn. Does anybody have... I forgot about that for a second. Does anybody have, like, a master plan that uh, you might be able to use for... a C. see... Willpower, Second Wind, Coup de Grasse, Master Plan. Okay. Sniper, yeah. Okay, so, well, it says pick up any card just played or discarded in exchange for this one. The recovered card may either replace Master Plan in your action pool or go straight into your hand. You may play the new card immediately. Well, uh, You if, don't have to, but you can. Well, if I take a loose interpretation of this card, um, it would allow me to get the idea card back. So let's see. I'm going to play that, okay? And then I have to go into the cards section. Uh, see, it's going to be the Destiny discard. And then, let's see. Oh, come on now. Okay. And then I can drag that idea card. Oh, maybe I can drag that idea card. Idea card? Oh, maybe by name? Oh, let me take it off of enhanced display and see if I can make it work. Yeah, see, off of enhanced display, it will, it will work. Okay, so the idea card... Uh, again, gain a clue or insight indicating the next course of action your hero should take or play to make the approved action of the drama deck any. That can be handy. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and play the idea card from, uh, from Nightbird's hand. And, of course, you can, you can take your cursor over the top of that idea card and it'll pop up so that you can read it if you need to. Um... What? Let's see. To give you an idea, the next course of action. All right. Chris, 
you're more or less the computer guru of the of the group okay um okay let's see you have a computers of 12 which is good that's that's actually very good um from what you were able to witness inside uh the place you're if you're going to try and find any further information and i'm going to quiz you guys in a second about that um any further information concerning uh uh anything dealing with the destiny map tiles you're actually going to have to go inside and you're thinking that you're probably going to have to go up to that um that master room where all of the computers were on the fourth floor or i'm sorry the third floor the fourth floor was the laboratory floor okay um you're actually physically going to have to be there because you recognize that there is no connection um uh to an internet hub unless it's a burst connection in other words they send burst data so they've been doing their best to make that system unhackable yes well, if, if you've ever played Cyberpunk, that's pretty much how any of the, uh, the cyber corporations do it, is they will keep all of their information in-house, um, all of their most restricted or important information, they'll keep it on the highest uh, security server and or computer, uh, or computer access possible. That's usually going to be higher in the building. There's going to be more protection um and and everything like that so i'm kind of running uh more or less a, a cyberpunk style run on this so i i wish andrew were here he would absolutely love this <laughs> so i uh, i pray and hope he gets a, a new computer soon so anyway chris to to if you're going to find out any further information and again i'll quiz you all in a moment about what you're looking for um you would actually have to go inside the building probably to an active terminal that can access the um the server okay um and i actually have a net run set up for that uh a net run map and and i don't know if you guys will get to play it or not but we we can try um so uh what are what information are you guys looking for uh concerning various things about about your current endeavor uh the possibility chalice the plates the oh i forget the guy's name who about the person who wrote that book parkhurst the, guy in the book okay yeah parkhurst that's the one that uh um Oh, wait a minute. Are you talking about the journal or are you talking about the research? Uh, I guess, yes. Well, you know that it was Stevenson that kept the journal. Um, you know that you're looking for the, um, the, the, the destiny map plates. Okay. Um, you know that, um, you know that the Nile Empire has involvement. You know that Pan Pacifica has involvement. Um, you know that the Cyber Papacy has involvement. Okay, so three of the seven realms that are out there are involved in this. And then, of course, you don't know if there are any core Earth authorities apart from the Delphi Council, but since you guys are a part of that entity, you guys are involved in it. Okay, um, you know that... Uh, okay, all of you assumed that the paperwork Chess had, which you guys now have, in his briefcase was about finding and killing certain people, assassinating them. But it turns out that he was not involved in any of those assassinations at all. He wasn't even in the area, okay? Um... That does not preclude the idea that he that he was ordered to liquidate anybody 
that was uh, was a potential liability. It's just saying he didn't actually do it. Okay. Um, now you guys have have joined with Chess to not only help him to stay alive, but to help him find information that might um, uh, help in various ways. Now Chess, his motivations and and the things that he is doing for you you don't understand his motivations uh as a team not even nightbird and you do not understand um the outcome that he is looking for so he could still be a threat does that make sense yeah true but also um the offer for asylum, I, I will try to remember to ask Fisk, wouldn't just be for him, but any family that the the cyber papacy might be holding hostage on his good behavior. Mm hmm Okay. So definitely research that. Well, um, if you want to put that in your notes, you should be able to um, uh, pretty easily. Just uh, I've noticed that the editor now copies the formatting from the previous line. So if you go into your journal entry and uh, go to your game notes, if I think you've got game notes there. Let me, let me uh, see, I can still look in your journal entries. <laughs> because, well, I've got permissions to do everything. So that's, okay, there we go, peaches. Okay, game notes. Okay, you have no game notes there at all. Um, it, it just says, yeah. keep your personal game notes here. Um, you don't have to keep that line if you don't want it. Just don't delete the line. Just delete the text in there um, so that the formatting stays. And if the formatting doesn't stay, I can correct it later. Okay? Um, if uh, you want to keep that. Or if you just want to keep it in your notes section on your character sheet, that's up to you too. Um but I would recommend keeping at least some notes here and there. Uh, so, uh, chess, the plates, what does Conwell Corporation have to do with it? Where might the plates be found? That sort of stuff. That's all part of that idea card. Okay. So, what, what information total, besides what I've just told you, would you be looking for? What else? Uh, or I guess me if they have any connection to the ninjas if that's I mean other than their business card we don't know for a fact that's true that's very true um, so you wanted oh pardon me oh, how did I I slept really good last night why am I yawning um, right, everybody good night yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to bed yet <laughs> okay Man, you better not be going to bed yet <laughs> it's too early Okay, so let's see. the The idea card has now expired. However, oh, that all that information should be right here. Yeah, there it is. Duh. So there's a lot of information that can be found. Um, that, but you could take different tacks to do it. I've only written one of those down um, that you could take. So I want you guys to try and figure out what it is you want to do um, as your next step. Okay, folks, suggestions? Chris, uh, Rios, uh, uh, Rios, what do you want to do next? Mm. Well... We were there earlier. What would be the easiest point of entry if we didn't want to be seen? Um, you know, actually, that's right. Um, Chris was able to draw up the plans be prior to Act 1, or as a part of Act 1. Uh, no, uh, Act 2, Scene 1, sorry. <clears throat> and kind of managed to see that there are some various locations that you guys can get into. Uh... Uh, one of those being toward the back of the building 
there is it's it's not really an airlock so much as a hallway that you can enter into that goes three directions okay uh, it goes into kind of an inner courtyard um, uh, that was built specifically for you know stress management for various folks in the building and it's not a small courtyard because it's not a small building um, but it also goes to the right on the first level and to the left and it goes to I it, it, it literally goes to let's see the if you turn to the left from that back entry uh, it allows you to to get up some stairs if you turn to the right it allows you to take an elevator <coughs> All right. And there's there's always that front entry, but as for any other entries, except for cutting windows out and, and doing all of that 007 Mission Impossible sort of thing, um, y y there's not really an entry. Hmm. All right. How many security cameras are on the outside of the building? Um, the plans really don't cover that but you were we able to see any while we were there earlier um not from inside the building um from outside the building let's see there's there's going to be one at the foyer entrance there's probably one on each corner uh and then there's at, probably at least one or two on each of the long sides of the building um i have a question are sure. the building was a part of a complex are the buildings connected underground i uh, you uh that you don't know that is not included in any plans however if you think about building construction for just a minute um or or you know research park construction for that matter um, that's an awful lot of waste to have to get rid of. So the question is, are they relying on, um, storage, waste storage offsite, or are they relying on kind of a sewer system? Mm -hmm. Maybe something that takes... Are you saying takes... we're going to have to go up the garbage chute? I, I, I don't I know, don't Princess. I smell pleasant. So. <laughs> That probably won't smell pleasant either. Yeah, probably not. There's, there's no, there's no alligators in the sewers, is there? I heard that rumor. <laughs> does anyone want to try and see? Does you, 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 New York? You're thinking of New York sewers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, does well? I mean, think about it for a minute. If it's a small town, they're less likely to flush it as often, so it might actually be worse. So. Uh, and that's if there's a sewer. Uh, would anybody like to try and do some research on that, <clears throat> Chris? <clears throat> <laughs> and another thing, um, we didn't get any of that kind of info while studying some of the other buildings. Sure, before, sure. Or some that weren't as secure? Uh, no, no. None of that info is, is made available on typical maps or anything like that. So... So we have to look for atypical maps. <laughs> yes, yes, atypical map. That's exactly right. That's a good way to put it. Um, so, Chris, um, computer roll with a target number equal to your total. So a 12. So 12. Yep. Oh, let me go ahead Here and we it. go. <laughs> Ooh, very nice. Very nice. That's a good success. Um, okay, you find out that the there are a bank of four uh, sewer containment uh, areas that are are buried well below ground, uh, and they have tubes that allow for the evacuation of all that stuff to those um, to those underground pump or sumps okay so there is no sewer system that goes through there okay okay
Okay. Well, that crap's that plan. <laughs> um, now. Yeah, sound disappointed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> How about uh, parking garages? Are there, they connected by anything like that? There's no parking garage. Uh, it is just a flat, open uh, parking lot. Okay, it's a, a fairly good sized parking lot. Because uh, believe it or not, there's not really that many people uh, that attend the Cherry Blossom Research Park at any given time. They've only got uh, 300 spaces available, uh, and and that's about it. So now, you think 300 spaces is really huge, but uh, at, at, at my church, we have 149 spaces, and that parking lot is really not that big. So imagine twice that many spaces, uh, and, and you're talking a parking lot that's probably 100 feet by 300 feet. Uh, Sounds but, like your average Walmart parking lot. Mm -hmm. uh, no, your average Walmart parking lot is going to have, uh, I think it's actually 600 parking spots. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yep. Yeah, almost double that. Yeah, easily double that, that yeah. amount of space. Yeah. So, um, but anyway, um, give me another roll for a different map. If you would, please, Chris. Uh, target okay. number still 12. Please. Yeah. Target number still 12. Okay. You did really good last time, so let's hope you do really good this time. Okay, not so good. You're uh, only just barely a failure. Right, you're only one off. Do you have any cards that you can throw at that, like a plus three card, for your mind? Willpower does that. Do you have any willpower cards? No. Do you want to trade for one? Uh, sure. What do you want? Well, uh, what do you have? Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I. I uh... I have a Seize Initiative, Step A, Hero, and a Precision card. Uh, what is Precision? Uh, play this card to ignore the friendly fire rule for one test or prevent an ally who would normally be included within an area of effect from being affected. It's more like your Ballywick. Give me the Seize Initiative, <laughs> and I'll give you this uh, uh, pass to... Uh, Chris. There you go. One so willpower. Manage your way. So Penny Gonzalez is who I need to yes. trade to? Yeah. Yes. There should not be a Peaches in there at all. If you're okay. seeing a Peaches, then I've, I've missed something. So. Get it? Yes, I did. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, now, okay, now uh, I'm playing the willpower. Okay, so that'll give you enough. Um, just, uh, just have it in there. There you go. Good idea. Um, there are limited spaces for maintenance between each of the buildings, but it's like, it's like a small hallway, and uh, that goes uh, between maintenance zones for the buildings now they take care of sewer stuff down there and mechanical stuff but they really don't have to do a whole lot with it so it's not they don't have very big rooms to them but they do have spaces going between the buildings but the the buildings themselves are not connected in there at all okay it's separate buildings so like you could go from the um Okay, let me look these up again. Uh, where is it? Okay, you could go from the um, the South American Oil Consortium or the Church of Jesus Christ um, uh, Bishops Conference and Retreat Center uh, to the uh, to the Conwa Building. But what do you think you're going to get when you get to the Conwa Building? Uh, a swift kick. Well, no, not necessarily. <laughs> yeah. Maybe the alarm to the swift kick. 
But if they have a card reader down there, you might be able to use one of the two cards that you guys have found uh, when you were doing your fire drill stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> DM's preparation for this. Oh, 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 I love this. I, I've got to show this to everyone. Let me let me get that uh, turn foundry off for just a second. <laughs> That's awesome. It's okay. Great. Uh, DM's preparation for the session. Everything's in order. The bowls are all nice and everything like that. The players, they're all over each other trying to figure it out. I love that. I love that. <laughs> That is so awesome. <laughs> That's a nice share right there. I'm telling you. Um, kind of what's happening right now, isn't it? Uh, well, yes and no. You guys are trying to straighten out this bag of snakes um, that I have given you to straighten out. Uh, but it's not the easiest thing in the world. And, of course, when you plan in role-playing, it almost takes as long as combat to complete. So... <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. So you found out that you've got those between the buildings, um, but after the things that you saw in the Conowa building, you would be very surprised to find out, uh, especially with the building next door on either side of the Conowa building, that they had not installed some kind of a, an important lock on a door into the Conowa building. And we do have the hospitality maintenance badge, plus mm -hmm. one other of a high security type that was swiped. Mm -hmm. So I think that would be the way to go. But then what? once we got in, what are we going to do? Um, open a channel to chess, I would think, on floor three. Perhaps. Um, you could, we, It might take a little bit of preparation for that, though. Well, will so, we have enough time for that kind of preparation? Yes. Yes. Um, you could, uh, a recommendation for me is you could call Chess back and say, this is what we're looking at. We're going to try and get you access so that you can help to find the information that we need. It'd also probably be good to get his input if we're trying to seek out his help, if he has any recommendations and the like. Okay. What kind of recommendations... How about well, we, you go ahead? How about his IP address for or email and contact? For <laughs> uh, wait, no, you've already got that contact through Nightbird. Yeah, well, I meant a secure dump. Uh, it's one used for this 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 contact mm -hmm. that that he preps just for this, so he doesn't get compromised in return. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, that could that could be useful to to Chris. Uh, if he's the one who's going to do the hacking, and I think he's the only one that really can. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, if you can get chess involved through probably, you know, uh, remote aid. Yeah. Or something like that. Uh, <laughs> the shadowy equivalent of Enterprise Help Desk. Um, <laughs> uh, you yeah. could... Yeah. Uh, it, it, he could have some help to get around, but that kind of link has to be established and it may have to be shadowed. So it could actually add more problems, you know, than, than anything else. So chess says that, that he is more than happy to help, um, uh, since his equipment, uh, his his uh, cyber deck was returned to him, uh, he might have a fairly easy time doing things. The problem is not all of his software. In fact, none of his software is jailbroken. So he what may is jailbroken. Mean? Okay, it means that you're okay. Like for cell phones, okay. Uh -huh. uh, once you pay off your cell phone. Uh, unless you can figure out software to do otherwise, uh, they actually release your so your cell phone to you. 
Now it doesn't it doesn't seem like anything special, but if you were somebody who did illicit activities or tried to to load certain software onto your cell phone, you couldn't do it until the cell phone is completely paid off and they give you the code for it. Okay, and then the cell phone is all yours. You can do what you want. Um, but that's you know that's another thing entirely. So for chess. All of his hardware and software belongs to the cyber papacy. So they loaded it up uh, before they sent him on this mission. And now he would like to be able to help you, but it might require some tap dancing on his part. Okay, and now that he's on the bishop's list, any, anything that he does to go and use that software, if it's not jailbroken, is going to be... Uh, uh, you know, it, it, it gives him a very great chance of being caught. He says, he, he tells you he's not unwilling to do it, but it may, it may bring heat on him that he can't handle right now. So anything that you would do would have to be done quickly. Well, that's certainly the plan. We don't want to spend more than, say, 10 minutes total. He says, good and luck if you're trying to hack something. Oh, well, how long do we, we you think it would take to hack it and get this to you? Um, he says, I don't know. I'm not there to, to look at the system. You guys would have to get me in so that I could look at the system, and then the lion's share of the work is still going to be on uh, whomever your hacker is. He's still not completely familiar with your group. Um and then I would be able to help in certain ways. Perfect. I would be able to help in certain ways to to complete the mission. But every um, any failures that you might have, anything that come up as setbacks, are likely going to end up reflecting on me as well. Not only with the bishops' council, but also with the cyber or with the uh, Pan Pacifica. With the Conowa building. Uh oh, I've lost connection. No, you haven't. Oh, no. I can hear you. Okay. Bye, bye, bye. Yeah, I got it. I had a, a tag that came up on Foundry. So, huh. yeah, very interesting. Okay. Huh. So, you can kind of, you've got that resource to work into your plan. Um, and you've got the the cards that you guys were able to, the, that, that all of you were able to put together. Um, and uh, you know pretty much the layout of the building. So lay it out for me step by step what you want to do. From entry, gaining entry to, to leaving. Okay, we gain entrance through maintenance. Um, I suppose um, our hacker goes to three and anybody who wants to explore the basement splits off after that. If we can figure out how to get down there. So you want to leave me all alone? No, I'm saying we need to split into two parties. Okay, I also right. think that... Go ahead. Sorry, Catherine. I think that if we can, we should also try and find like some manner of disguise, like at least a lab coat or something, you know? Um... The building, uh, you know from entering the, the building, you know how they, it, a lot of businesses post their hours. Um, the building actually closed at 8 p.m. It closes at 8 p.m. every night, but Sunday, Sunday, it's completely closed, period. Um, oh. uh, Saturday, I'm sorry, Saturday, it actually closes at uh, 3 o'clock, 3 p.m. So 8 p.m. Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. on Saturday. Uh, it generally opens at 8 a.m. on all uh, all six of those wouldn't days. Tomorrow would have to be Sunday. <laughs> no, tomorrow's not Sunday. Dang it! I'm <laughs> sorry. Hold on. My browser uh, just crashed. Oh. So I'm putting it back up. Okay. Oh, the uh, shutdown you you heard was Connor's uh, computer crashing. He's oh. booting back up. Okay. Well, uh, thank you for letting me know. Um, so what do we want to do now that Connor's out of the 